Numerical Methods Problem 10.3 Part A. Solve the following system of equations by LU decomposition without pivoting. And our equations are x1 plus 7x2 minus 4x3 equals negative 51. Second equation is 4x1 minus 4x2 plus 9x3 equals 62. Our final equation is 12x1 minus x2 plus 3x3 equals 8. So, to go through LU decomposition, we must first reduce our equation to an upper and lower form or have to have an upper triangular matrix and a lower triangular matrix. So we take our equation AX equals B and we reduce it and we find the upper matrix for U times X equals D and then we do the same for our lower matrix and our lower matrix and our upper matrix when combined together should equal our original matrix A because we're just factoring our original matrix A to a lower and upper matrix and then we use the LUD composition and the formulas that we were given to find the x value for this problem. So the first step we factored A into our lower and upper, upper triangular matrices and that's simply done in math lab by doing LU equals LU of A which is our matrix and that will give us a lower and upper. And then step two, normally we would manipulate LD equals B and find the D, and then we would find the X from U times X equals D. But in MATLAB, we simply all we have to do is type in LUP is equal to LU of A, which will find our correct lower and our correct upper matrix. And to solve for X, all we have to do is set X equal to A backslash B, and that will solve our matrixes for our X, which will complete this will give us our answer for part A of this problem and part B wants the inverse matrix so we can set our in inverse matrix will be the inverse of A as denoted here or you could have A to the negative 1 which will work exactly the same and then it asks us to prove that our matrix times our inverse that we found is equal to the identity matrix we simply multiply them out the inverse the original matrix and we can also check at the end if our x is correct by multiplying our a by our x and getting our b and the x that we solve for here will be here so let's just run it up Ooh. didn't comment that out all right As you can see, we got our lower matrix and our upper matrix. 
solved for. We found our x. Here's the inverse matrix. When we multiplied our original matrix A by our inverse matrix, we get the identity matrix. And we also checked to make sure that our x was correct. So we multiplied our original matrix A by the x that we found. And we got the correct B that we were originally given, which is negative 51, 62, and 8. And that is it for problem 10.3.